it's Erin with Time Saving Templates and today I'm going to be going over a quick Excel tip on how to calculate the difference between two numbers in Excel. So for this example, I'm using one of the templates. We have the salary range reset template and this one just comes with a way to increase all ranges by a certain percentage and then it'll calculate, you can round your ranges as well. But I am adding an extra page and taking this for the example, we're using the salary range midpoint and we're gonna calculate the difference between the internal salary point of the salary ranges to um, a market value to see what the difference is. You can also use this percentage difference if you're looking at change in sales between year over year, month over month, or or anything that you want to see what is the percentage difference. So to calculate this, you first want to identify what is your old and new value. So we're going to say the midpoint is the old value and the market value is the new value. And this is just helping with the formula so we can know uh, we're just going to do equal parenthesis. We're going to take the new value first minus the old value, close parenthesis, and then we're going to divide it by the old value. So new minus old divided by old. And that is giving us the percentage difference. So you could also break that out into two cells if you wanted to just do new value minus old and get a dollar amount for that. And then you can break it into two steps and you would just take that difference amount divided by original and you're going to get the same percentage. So that's another way you could look at it. And so that's how you calculate the percentage difference. That was really uh, fast. Uh, if I was looking at this for a company, I would probably look at the average. So equals average and take the average percentage difference here to see, just to see what the total average is. Some are having a larger difference than others. And then maybe that, I may add this into the template actually, that may help to inform if on average it's six, 0.5, maybe we would increase ranges by 6%. And so then that would update the formulas below. And so that is part of the template. The chart will update with the new ranges information. So I hope that helps next time you're looking to compare the percentage difference between two numbers. And just in case you're interested in if you work in HR or compensation, we have the salary range reset template. It's part of a turnover package actually, which you can find a link to in the comments. It's part of the tackle turnover toolkit. So that is going to contain several templates to track turnover, cost to hire, and also includes a salary range reset, which can be a huge part of turnover as well. Until next time, don't forget that I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using Excel spreadsheets in your business, in your HR department, or with rental properties. And before I go, I did want to mention there are some free resources you can find at Time Saving Templates. Just go to timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources. And that will give you a few different options of our free items in the different sections. We have a pricing template, a rental property, and compensation metrics cheat sheet, as well as a getting started with Excel guide.